I'm a black man, I'm a doctor, I have a family history of prostate disease and I'm really worried. Why are people that look just like me more likely to die from prostate cancer? This question is hard to answer because it has so many layers. Now this will be the most important video I ever make as this could potentially save yours or a loved one's life. So please share it widely and leave your comments below. Research shows that one in four black men will get prostate cancer in their lifetime compared to men of other races who have a one in eight chance of getting prostate cancer. Let's take a look at the prostate. This right here is the prostate, which is an organ that sits just below the bladder. So as you can see here, the prostate sits around the tube that carries urine out of the penis. We call this tube the urethra. The prostate's main job is to help the body to make semen. This is a fluid that carries your sperm. Usually the prostate gland is around the size of a walnut. At this size, urine flows through the urine tube without any issues. But when there are any problems with the prostate, such as a cancer, this can lead to symptoms that affect your urinary function. Some of these symptoms include things such as a difficulty in starting or maintaining your stream of urine, urinating more frequently, especially at night, blood in your urine, but also in your semen, and also symptoms such as erectile dysfunction. It's not easy for men to talk about their health, especially in my community. So I'm sat in front of you today in full knowledge of the significance of someone like me being able to provide this important message. There are risk factors for this condition, such as age, genetics, family history, and obesity. Now, you see a lot of videos also mention how being a black male is a risk factor, but not many videos actually delve into some of the reasons why this may be. See, I believe that there are some deep-seated and multifactorial reasons behind some of the factors that we see, and I'm uniquely placed to share this with you. It's difficult to ignore cultural factors, such as a generalized mistrust of the healthcare system. Studies outline how institutional racism has contributed to disparities in the healthcare system. Medical mistreatment of the black population is deeply rooted in history, including the transatlantic slave trade, where people were denied medical treatment. Inaccurate biological differences between races, such as a higher pain thresholds in a black population, were published in studies and used to legitimize poor medical judgments, such as withholding pain relief. These have since been disproven, but you can understand how this can impact the health experience of the black population. Also, historically, the black population were made subject to unethical medical experiments. We must acknowledge that although we have come a long way, there are still significant historical occurrences that will have a multi-generational impact. These factors combine and increase the likelihood that when something goes wrong, black men are less likely to see a health professional for investigations or treatment for this. Add to all of this within the black population, there's also felt to be some form of stigma of disease where people don't really want to have this label of disease. All of these deep rooted factors mean that eventually when black men present to a doctor for concerning symptoms of prostate cancer, this will be a point where the symptoms are way too severe, way too advanced and ultimately too late for any treatment to have unintended benefit. This is a major contributing factor to the data that we see. So how do we tackle this issue? Well, my friends, information is key. Now that you know a little bit about what the prostate does and some of the symptoms of cancer, as well as knowing why it is so important to get checked out by your doctor, you are armed with all the information you need. You see, we as doctors truly want the best for you. Now, when you see your doctor with these symptoms, a few things will be done. Your doctor will typically ask you some questions about your symptoms, followed by an examination of the prostate itself. This examination is done through the back passage with a glove finger covered by jelly. In this examination, there'll be a check of the size, the shape and consistency of the prostate itself. Now, I understand that you may feel embarrassed 
all worried about seeing your doctor for these tests, but it's so important to not allow this to stop you. Your doctor will have seen this so many times before and will be able to give you all the information you need, plus also put your mind at ease. To help you in the process, if you're not sure what to say to your doctor, I've included a link to a form on Prostate Cancer UK. You can print this out, fill it out and give it to your doctor. This will help you in the process of your discussions with your doctor. Now, following an examination of the prostate, it's also likely that you'll have a blood test arranged called the PSA test. This test further allows your doctor to build up a picture in ruling out a serious cause of your symptoms such as prostate cancer. There are other conditions that can cause the urinary symptoms such as an enlarged prostate. Now, the PSA test is not a perfect test because certain things can cause it to be incorrectly raised. Some of these things include if you have a current urinary infection, any activity resulting in ejaculation within 48 hours of the test, any vigorous exercise such as cycling within 48 hours of the test. So it's important to avoid these things prior to your test so you get a true reading. A doctor will discuss the next steps with you if there's an elevated result. These next steps will likely involve a referral to the urology team where you may either have an MRI scan or a biopsy. Being aware of important signs and symptoms to look out for is so important so you get seen as soon as possible, especially when we talk about possible cancer. This is why I also created this video here for you which goes into some of the key symptoms of bowel cancer. Make sure that you check this out. As always, if you found today's video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. And remember, I truly care about your health and I wish you the very best.